Yo guys, what's good? This is Anthony from Avon Samples, back with another dubstep tutorial. Today we have one of the amazing producers who took part in creating our newest dubstep sample pack, Avant Dubstep. He'll be bringing you through his creative process of making a modern heavy dubstep drop, and he'll be using the new pack as it has all the tools needed to create this sound. That also means you guys will have access to all the samples, sounds, and presets used in today's video. You guys can head over to the link at the top of the description below to download the pack. So anyway guys, let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. We'll hop over to his perspective now. Today we are going to be making a little more experimental sounding track with the Avant sample pack that we have. So what we want to go for is probably the synth first, because with experimental tracks, we want to find something that fits our ideas the most. So we'll go through a couple. But I think I, I just found, I just found the synth that I will be using. It already has a very nice flow. And play with the flow like this. Perfect. Now I'm going to send our synth to a channel in here and create a new one for our sub bass. You're looking for something heavy and I'm going to try to copy the flow that we have in the synth so that it always fits. And now very important thing that I'll have to do is cut the low end of the synth so that we make room or the other bass, the sub bass, right? It already has a lot of low that we want to cut so that we make room for this sub bass. A lot cleaner and a lot hard hitting. It's a lot more hard hitting than the other synth. I will add a wave shaper to our master so it doesn't clip and send both of them, them to this bus that we will name docking again. This will make sure that it always docks the volume when we play a drum. I usually do this manually because I love to have more control over it. But you can use compressors, you can use different sort of automations, peak controllers in FL Studio. These are all very good solutions for this. I'm going to look for something that might sound experimental. Probably this one with a weird clap. This is definitely one of those unique claps that I haven't really heard yet before. Layered with the snare that we can also pitch down a little bit. I usually shift the clap a little bit. I shift this because I want it to be stand out a little bit and also soften the uh, transient of the snare. So it's not as hard hitting, but it's still, you know, a little bit interesting to you. I'm going to look for a kick. I'm going to cut this again, just like in the other video. I will shorten these so it's a little tighter. Next thing I want to do is find a good way to place my kicks so that it has a little more wonky flow to it. This 
this is perfect. So what you can see here, what's happening is my automation is muting the synth and the sub bass, so it cuts out. Silence can be very interesting in a track sometimes, so I'm going to play with that. I'm going to add a shaker as well on top of our kicks, which I will shift just a tiny bit so that it also sounds less aggressive. I'm going to actually keep this rhythm. And I'll add an additional hi hat just to kind of fill it up a little bit. I'm going to look for fill sound. This will be cool. This will also be very useful. And I want to look for something that kind of fills up that empty part. case I don't really have to cut anything except the sound effects on here because I don't want them to have any low end while the sub is playing out. Everything else is pretty clean and um, cut so that you can use them. They're already ready to use with other stuff so you don't have to use EQ or anything on them. I'm going to move this one a little bit like this. I will also move this so that we have a little playful rhythm going on with the sound effects. All right, guys, that's it for today's tutorial. I hope it was helpful and you guys learned some things to apply to your own production. As I said in the beginning of the video, all the sounds you heard in today's video are available in the uh, sample pack, which is linked below. Uh, we made this pack to really give dubstep producers everything that they need to build a heavy modern dubstep track from start to finish. It, it literally has all the different tools, sounds, presets, samples that, you, that a producer needs. We make these packs so that a producer could use exclusively our pack and build multiple tracks of it. So we really highly recommend it if you're looking to expand your sample library and uh, get some new packs. So uh, if you guys have any requests for future tutorials, definitely leave them in the comments below. We're more than happy to uh, make tutorials about any information you guys are looking to learn. So if you have any suggestions, let us know and we'll get right on it. All right, guys, see you next time. Peace.